Hello everybody, welcome to Inside the Tour on what is an absolutely glorious, gleaming hot afternoon in LA. 4 p.m. in the afternoon. United, of course, were in action yesterday up in San Jose. They weren't training this morning, but training now. And you have to say the heat has gone up a, a notch or two. It's certainly not at Phoenix levels, but uh, this is going to test the players, isn't it, this afternoon? Of course it is. Even I put some sun cream on. 50 because um, if I get a sunstroke here, Stuart, you're going to have a difficult week ahead of you commentating with me. Yeah. But of course, it's a test. It's the day after uh, the game. Uh, next one against Milan here in LA. It's on Wednesday. So the preparation needs to be there. We need to be ready. We need to be better. And of course, again and again, I keep mentioning that we need a flying start to the season. The only sort of difference with the squad is that Nemanja Matic has joined up. I don't know whether he'll be involved against AC Milan on, on Wednesday, but Nemanja Matic has joined up and your pay, you, you were speaking to him last night, weren't you, I think? Yes, uh, yes we were. Uh, Nemanja Matic played for Red Star Belgrade uh, when I was the first team player there. Uh, he was in the youth team squads. It's hard to imagine that when you see him with his two metres as well, hmm. that I'm actually a little bit older than Nemanja. So it's always good to catch up with some old friends, good to see him back. I always enjoy when Manchester United have their big hitters here on the tour as well and the supporters are going to be happy to see some of our big players being back in action as well because we have three games here in America left, we have one in Munich against Bayern and then after that, five days after Stuart, Leicester City visit Old Trafford. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. By then, obviously Fred's going to join this tour at some point quite soon as well, David De Gea as well, but so slowly and surely players are coming up but you still think of Lukaku and Pogba and really important players, Jesse as well. Will have a very well. they'll have a very curtailed pre-season, won't they? I mean, they've still obviously got great residual fitness, but it's going to be a curtailed pre-season for them. Yes, but we cannot just speak about the problems all the time. We know this it always happens after the Euros, after the World Cup as well. We should have good enough players to be actually to adapt on the 10th of August to still go out and perform and win against Leicester City. Liverpool have the same headaches. I mean, Manchester City as well. So all the players, all the teams that want to go after that Premier League trophy have had players they have been away to Russia. They have players they have been away for their little bit of a rest as well. So it's not only us. Uh, as for the game yesterday, I mean, it's no point us pretending it wasn't a classic, was it? It's a, sh it's a shame that, that we didn't see any goals. The stadium was a classic. Yeah, the stadium was fantastic. <laughs> um, shame for the fans there that there wasn't a goal. Obviously, the closest we came was Eric Bay early on. But the intensity, maybe in the fixture, wasn't quite there. But for Milan, Liverpool, Real Madrid in the International Champions Cup, you'd expect an increase in intensity, would you not? Of course, I would just like to see a little bit more patterns in our attacking way. It's not about the results, but it's about creating chances, and we haven't created enough in these two games we are seeing. Of course, it can only get better, you're getting some players back, but it doesn't matter regarding of the players, we should have a little bit more patterns attacking-wise to create more and to make us all happy, because of course, when you speak about football when you speak about Manchester United it's much easier to sit at home in your sofa complaining it's much yeah. easier to commentate the games with your binoculars when you see absolutely everything with every pass you go and leave but club as a Manchester United they should be used to this pressure Stuart and they should be used to the actually people have opinions and that's because that's what it makes us the biggest club in the world yeah I mean you've always got to remember there was you know 12 players missing at the start of this tour for, for various reasons 12 players at the World Cup a couple of players with knocks as well so you, you're talking about the Leicester game, but in truth, this is nothing like the team that we see against Leicester in these early games, isn't it? So you can't read too much into it. No, you shouldn't read too much into it. The only thing I read into it is just, uh, again, the patterns of attacking play, that even with these players on show against Club America and against San Jose, one of the worst teams in the Mellors this season, we should create more and we should try to keep them supporters and us a little bit more happier of course they're gonna say it's another training session few minutes under your belt all the cliches and everything we heard before but of course hey, we have to put pressure on our own club that's because we love this club so much the people that are most vocal and most critical they're the ones usually that love your club most because you at least bias towards your own club so we need to see more on Wednesday of course and one of the most special ones of all your pal Zlatan Ibrahimovic is here now of the LA Galaxy, starring at the LA Galaxy. Remember he put out a, a, a statement saying if he'd been here 10 years ago, he'd be president by now. Zlatan is here visiting his old teammates. It's always nice to see him. Just a big, big shame he didn't come to us earlier. I think he would have been there with Eric Cantona, his persona, his charisma, and of course the quality on the pitch. And 
in one year the supporters grew to love him he had his own chant after a year and when you see him you feel fear but you feel the respect of the unbelievable quality and the courage he had at that age to come to Old Trafford and score 28 goals in 46 appearances now I love seeing him here not just because he's Swedish not because our descent or our parents are from the same country it's just because we would need somebody of that character in our squad again and hopefully the leader Paul Pogba was for France when they won the World Cup I need to see that leader in the dressing room performing because Paul Pogba is world class I'm hearing rumors you might be having a chat to him later on I don't know I don't that's what they said I'm gonna see if I'm gonna do it in uh, Serbian if I'm gonna do it in <laughs> Swedish or English don't forget English is my third language I'm doing okay you're gonna have to do it in your third language I'm afraid sorry about that okay, but okay it, no problem. he's he's starring here uh, he hasn't come to retire here in the MLS but I think what it, it's a great shame that United fans never had a chance to say goodbye really he was just he was gone after that stellar first season of course it is and i think he was disappointed himself he knew that injury in the europa league he knew that could actually end him at this club because at that age to be that fit he needed to stay injury free of course majority of our supporters miss him and rightly so because he did stuff so simple he did it brilliant he was a proper manchester united mold you know that arrogance nobody's better than us we are bigger than you but also on the pitch we can show that we are better than you he has that all in him and he's just watching some of our younger players uh, warm up at the moment and training and that was another great thing about zlatan young players they're like tahi chong or angel gomez Josh Barrett, they could all have actually approached Zlatan and asked him what it takes to, to play at the highest level because he was that kind of character, very approachable, wanted to help people and really valued uh, his time at Manchester United and helping young players. Well, that's what top players are all about. Um, you know, you want to pass on the education that you found throughout the game. When you were a young lad, you know, and experienced players are passing on knowledge to you, you feel that you want to do that for young players coming through and Zlatan is definitely one of them he's not selfish in any way and he does want to pass on his knowledge to, to the young boys and and give them good advice on how to go on to be a top player or at least give you the advice of that you either take it on board or you don't